Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Free rides over. Trump not funding California's charade after they refused orders. After decades of giving Democrats free reign of California, it's starting to seem like the American residents have finally had enough of the unmitigated disaster said politicians have turned the once golden state into. While the whole state is falling apart with its out-of-control homelessness, gas prices that more than double the national average and streets that look like something out of a third-world ghetto in major cities such as San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Sacramento the governor of the state, Jerry Brown, chooses to battle President Trump's attempt at securing our borders instead of fixing what California citizens have to deal with on a daily basis. Last month President Trump asked the governors of border states to help address the severe illegal immigration issue and send in the National Guard to protect against a yearly caravan of illegals making the trek from Latin America and to the U.S. to which Brown instead of complying to make our nation a safer place, wanted to make sure the troops wouldn't be there to stop illegals from coming, but to instead just make sure that when they come in they have a safe experience. But the good news is according to an article on American News Daily all these shenanigans from the Democrats in California are finally starting to take its toll on the state's citizens. It looks as though after constantly trying the same thing over and over again they have finally started to wake up and realize things don't need to be this way. In fact, a Republican running for governor might actually have a prayer of winning this year, or at least coming close to it, which is a huge victory in the eyes of any person on the right stuck trying to live in the liberal mecca of California. Here is what former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich had to say about the California governor's race via SFGate. Former Speaker of the House and 2012 presidential candidate Newt Gingrich thinks that California could elect a Republican governor in 2018. In a Fox News op-ed titled California May Elect a Republican Governor, incredible as that sounds, Gingrich writes that GOP candidate John Cox is within striking distance of frontrunner Gavin Newsom. Gingrich cites a recent Public Policy Institute of California poll that found that Cox has surged into second place behind Newsom, and notes that a quarter of the poll's participants were undecided. Cox trails Newsom 28 percent to 14 percent, but a second-place finish in the June 5 primary would guarantee that Cox moves on to face Newsom in a one-on-one -on -one race in November. California's primary system is unconventional, with every candidate regardless of party affiliation appearing on the same ballot in June. The top two finishers then move on to the general election in November, meaning that it is possible for two Democrats to run against each other. Gingrich calls California's primary process a great system for silencing and drowning out political minorities, and states that it has likely been a big help to California Democrats since it was adopted in 2010. No Republican has won statewide office in California since 2006. The three Republican candidates for governor, State Assemblyman Travis Allen, businessman John Cox and former Congressman Doug Gossay. The former House Speaker likes Cox's odds against Newsom in a one-on-one -on -one race, since he believes that California would clearly benefit from Cox's conservative leadership. Cox would work to cut state taxes so that Californians would see more take-home pay and small businesses would be more able to grow, succeed, expand and create more jobs, Gingrich writes. This includes the hugely unpopular gasoline tax that the Democratic California Legislature and Democratic Governor Jerry Brown imposed on drivers last year. Gingrich believes that Cox can win on the issue of immigration, writing, Democratic leadership has also made California a haven for criminals who are in the country illegally. Cox has pledged to end California's lawless sanctuary policies and work with federal officials to get those who are in the country illegally and committing crimes off the streets and out of the country. Gingrich doesn't use any poll numbers or raw data to support these claims, but an LA Times USC Dornsife poll from 2017 did find that a majority of Californians want to see the gas tax repealed. On the issue of immigration however, the same poll found that a majority of Californians support California's sanctuary state law. Gingrich also notes how important it is for the national GOP to have a Republican candidate for governor on the ballot in November. He cites a Smith-Johnson research survey that found that 99.6 percent of Californians said they planned to vote in the June primary, but only 56.1 percent of these voters would vote in November if there were two Democrats on ballot for governor. Low turnout could doom GOP candidates in tightly contested local races. Gingrich writes, Republicans currently hold only 14 of California's 53 House seats, all of which will be on the ballot this November. Any losses or gains in California could have a serious impact on the ability of Republicans to keep control of the House. In other words, Cox's performance in June could help determine who controls the House of Representatives in 2019.
we'll see how this plays out during the summer and the months leading up to the election, but for the meantime, at least there is some hope in a state that just two short years ago was considered an instant loss for Republicans. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.